Let's talk a little bit about the University of Colorado. Or, or do you guys, when you guys talk college football, mm-hmm. TJ, yeah. do you talk about Colorado or you talk about Dion? I mean, I, I want to say we say the name the University of Colorado, but in essence, yeah. It's, you know, those tissues when you blow their nose, no one calls them tissue. They're clean. They're clean. That's right. right. <laughs> it's That's Dion. the brand. We talk, we talk Coach Prime because it, we're all. Uh, Fans, and I know in this business you're really not supposed to, right? You're supposed to take your fandom, kind of put it to the side or behind you for professionalism. But, you know, Rich is a huge Dion fan, as are the rest of us. I know I am. He's the reason I became a Florida State fan back in the late 80s. So, yeah, when you kind of reference the school, it's let's talk about Dion, let's talk about Prime, and you're talking about the Colorado Buffaloes. It's been really cool, too, Steve, because they were the big story for the first – three weeks of the college football season. It was so fun. They came out of nowhere. Everyone knows Colorado won one game last right. year. One of the worst programs in the Power Five. Uh, their win total coming into the season. Vegas had them at three wins. They've already surpassed yeah. that already in five weeks. Like, it's been such a fun story. It was really cool. And we knew that, look, we knew they were going to face tougher opponents once they got into the meat of the Pac-12 schedule. They had tough games at Oregon. They We knew they were going to have a tough time with USC, but they made that game fun and exciting, and it seemed like maybe they turned a corner in the second half of that game. They play tonight in front of a national yeah, audience Stanford. on ESPN against Stanford. It's just a fun, cool story, no matter if you're a big college football fan, but we all know who Deion Sanders is. We all know that he has – very talented sons who play on the team. It's just been great for the whole sport. It's been awesome. And it's so funny because there's so many folks who are like, oh, we're only paying attention to them because of Dion or whatever. It is what it is. I mean, it, right. to me, I mean, he he is a brand. And Dion understands it and he embraces it, you know, with the smack entertainment, with the cameras following him everywhere. There was a great video clip of him this week about accountability, you know, where he is preaching to his players like um, it's over comes real soon and it's a message not enough young people hear is that you think it's all going to be going on all this riding high and all this great stuff going on with the buffs getting your tuition paid for getting free meals getting your your rent paid for that's going to go on forever but you better have a plan because it's over is coming soon and that's what Dion and, and I love the fact that he's sharing this publicly um but the interesting thing to me is not many guys are going to be able to pull that off I mean one he comes in with the gravitas of being a pro football hall of famer He's well known because of what he did on TV and at the NFL Network and other places where he's worked. But I love the fact that, you know, even though he's no longer at Jackson State, and we talked about him when he was at Jackson State and HBCU, more people, even over the past few years, who had no idea who or what Jackson State was now do because Dion has that in his contrails, mm-hmm. right? It's on his resume of what he's doing. At Colorado, he pulled Jackson State into national recognition. This is an HBCU, right? Jackson State, this is where Jackie Slater and Walter Payton Payton and Robert Brazil, right? Pro Football Hall of Famers went to school. And so many people have no idea about that Mm. until Dion kind of put that on the map. So I love the fact that he's bringing all of Dion with him the history of these HBCUs, and elevated Colorado now into a national program. He's going to get recruits because when Dion sits down with mom and dad, it's a wrap. Yeah, you, you know, can't that, follow that. And, TJ, this is what you, I, I give you credit here. You've been saying this the whole time. Mm-hmm. You think Colorado's going to win an ad, a natty in like four years just four because. Years. It won't take that long. You don't think it's going to take that no, long? it won't take that long. Really? I yeah. believe that, Steve, because uh, th- these kids now, they're going to see all the hype that Colorado gets. These kids are going to want a piece of this, right? You're going to look at what the kids like. They like, in addition to the football, they want the nice gear, right? That's what you want when you're 18, 19. You're going to get the fresh gear. You're going to get the dope locker rooms. You know you're going to be talked about all the time. And you've got a coach who's done it at the highest possible level and you're going to get more coaches sap is talking about going there you're going to get other gold jacket coaches that are coming there and teach you and not only help you to become a better football player but a better man a better human being this is just he's going to be the pied piper and there's no doubt like you said how are you coach b going to follow coach d when after he leaves a recruit's living room it's like what what are you going to say after dion was dion to your parents like 
I don't I don't know how you follow that up. The, 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 the interesting thing about this is Dion's message isn't new, right? College coaches all when they come to I, I went through the process, right? So when they come to your room, we want your son to graduate. We want him to be become a better man. You know, you we want you as parents to feel secure that we're going to take care of your son. So that message part for Dion isn't new. He's making it public, mm-hmm. right? On their practice jerseys, they have their Instagram handles, the app, whatever. <laughs> right. All right. He's embraced it. Yeah. He's made it public. He's speaking. He's speaking the language of the of the young kids. He's mm-hmm. speaking the language of the microwave, you know, memories and, and mentality that we have. Mm-hmm. But he's also using his history again, his gravitas, to make these guys. Man, and I think the biggest accomplishment Deion Sanders will make, and it's how I led this conversation off, is we're no longer calling it Deion, but we're calling it the University of Colorado, and his players are more of a household name than he is. And that will happen. Deion, I, I know the man, that will happen. He loves the limelight, but he loves nothing more than shining the lights on other people as well. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.